Hello everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, we are going to continue with our systems manager and today we will going to take a look at run command from systems manager. Now this is very important from systems manager point of view because with the help of run command, you can do most of your automation to your instances. So let's look at some point regarding systems manager run command followed by our practical demo. So AWS systems manager run command lets you to remotely and securely manage the configuration of your managed instances. Now when it comes to managed instances, these are nothing but your EC2 instances installed with your SSM agent. I have already done a demo how to install SSM agent on EC2 instances. Please go through that video so that whenever you install any EC2 instance or even whenever you provision any EC2 instance and you're trying to get benefit from systems manager, that instance needs to be installed with your SSM agent. Okay, coming back to run command. So run command allow you to remotely and securely manage your configuration. How? Because run command has a functionality where you can run your uh, Ansible playbook, Docker containers, you can execute your shell script or PowerShell on your EC2 instances with systems manager dashboard. For that, you just have to create a role having a systems manager access, assign that role to your EC2 machine. Then only you will be able to execute any kind of automation from run command. Now run command enable you to automate common administrative tasks and perform ad hoc configuration changes at scale. As I said, running your Ansible playbook, your shell script, PowerShell on EC2 instances, you can do all these with the help of run command. We can use run command from AWS management console, the AWS command line interface, AWS tools for Windows PowerShell or SDKs. Run command is offered at additional no costing. So there is no cost, additional cost involved with this particular service. So I hope this clears a lot regarding run command from systems manager because this is very helpful and I'm going to show you how much module or what level of operations we can do with the help of run command because I'll be creating uh, two or three videos on run command as part of the series. So let's jump to our AWS management console. I will show you how to execute run command. Now I have a EC2 instance already created, which is Windows. So I'll be executing PowerShell over here, a normal PowerShell script. So this instance has been assigned with a role called EC2 SSM. Let me show you the property for EC2 SSM. So you have to go to your IAM console because this is a role created in IAM. Let's see the permission. It has Amazon SSM full access. So I have given Amazon SSM full access to execute on your EC2 machine. So if you go to trust relationship, you can see the identity provider is EC2 Amazon AWS.com. Okay, so let's go to systems manager. Again, go to services, search for SSM. Here we call systems manager. Click on that. This will route you to the systems manager console. Now on the left hand side, we have something called run command inside instances and node. Click on run command. We don't have anything executing as of now. So this is a run command dashboard, which will going to show you what are the processes is running with the help of run command. If you go to command history, you will going to see all these uh, run patch baseline has been executed as part of my previous video. Okay, so to execute anything on your EC2 instance, click on run command. Now, these are the modules that I was talking about. For playing Ansible playbook on Linux instances, you can use this. We have chef, then we have DS, DSCM, Ops, I don't know what this is, to be honest. Patch baseline, configure AWS package, then your cloud, you can configure your CloudWatch, Docker, Windows update, find Windows update, you can even install your applications. 
there, so there are like hell lot of pages uh, i guess somewhere around it's for showing in my account so you can do run sysprep configure your stig everything so most of your daily base operations has been captured within run command so let's go to first page i have to run powershell so you can search for powershell as well it's mostly on the second page mm, no install powershell module install windows update i have already done a demo on uh, how to do patching with the help of systems manager so please do watch that video now here are things run remote script salt stake shell script you can update your ssm as well here is something called run powershell script so select that which is windows and linux so you can run powershell script on linux as well we have a provision there document version just go with the default one or if you want to have a latest version you can do that that's fine it's a simple command that i'm trying to execute which is get service okay working directory i don't have any working directory for now because it's trying to fetch out the services which is present on my ec2 instances that we have provisioned now I specify the instance tag so based upon tag you can select number of instances like for example a patch group a patch group of production has been assigned to 100 instance and you if you want to update patches on 100 of instance select the tag called patch group production whatever the name has been given over there and you can run patch update on 100 of servers so i'll be going to choose instance manually okay it's not been updated as manage instance so we have to wait for a while because i have created that instance before starting this video so let me pause this video and uh, i'll wait for instance to come within this manage instance i'll resume it back once i can see a manage instance in my account so finally my instance is showing in manage instance section of systems manager it took nearby seven minutes to reflect in the console now the level of information we are getting from manage instance is ssm windows this is the name the tag that we have given to the instance id the ping status is online this is windows platform type 2016 the os version it's giving this is the platform version agent version this is ssm agent then the IP address, this is the private IP address, computer name, which is in workgroup because I don't have any domain created. Now, let's go to run command and try to execute our PowerShell script, which is on the third screen or third page. I'm going to call very simple script, which is get service. You can assign your proper script to get or fetch data or if you want to install something on the server then you just have to give the commands over here working directory i don't have anything as of now now specify the instance tag let's say if you have hundreds of servers so the tagging should be done in such a way that hundred of windows server let's say you want to install is on hundred of servers at one go so try to tag, create a tags called IS install or let's say if you want to patch hundreds of servers like windows. So try to create a patch group called windows or production which I have done in my previous videos for patching. Once you specify tag over here, then you will be able to manage hundred of instances in one go with the help of run command. I don't have any tagging created so I'll choose instance manually select you can also create a resource group now comment if you want to give getting service list from EC2 instance this is the uh, timeout like after 600 seconds this will go into timeout so let's say if you have an issue with your EC2 instance and your command or script is not able to execute within 600 seconds, then that will going to get timeout. 
and you will be able to see the error. Output enable writing to S3 bucket. You can enable this to see the output of your uh, command or script. So let's say if you are trying to install your application, you are trying to do your automation of your application deployment, then it's best to write the log in S3 bucket because most of the time the output is quite long which is not getting inserted with the output section of this uh, run command. So you can uh, enable writing to S3 bucket. You can choose the bucket from the list which I have like this. So I'm going to choose that. You can uh, give S3 key prefix as an optional. Write command output to Amazon CloudWatch. You can write output to the CloudWatch. You have to create a log group name. Specify that over here. You can send out a SNS notification. So let's say my deployment is done. Send out a notification to the concern team. Patching is done. Send out a notification to the concern team. So for that, you have to create a SNS topic. Now, whatever you have configured above, you will be getting a CLI based upon the OS. This is for Linux, Unix OS version. You will, you just have to run this particular string in your CLI, you will be able to configure everything. So if you go to Windows command prompt, this platform is not supported. PowerShell, this platform is not supported for the CLI. Okay, so hit run. Now you can see it's in progress. So once everything is completed, we'll be able to see some data. So you can see the command description which I have gone through. The document version is one which we have selected. Command is run PowerShell script. Getting service from EC2 list, that's the comment. 3600 second is the execution timeout. Delivery timeout is 600. Now to see the output, click on the instance. We have something called output. Step one, it's going to Amazon S3 bucket as well. So these are the services that I have on my EC2 instance that I have created. Now the command output displays maximum of 2,500 characters. So that's why we prefer to choose Amazon S3 bucket to write everything over there. So you can see all are getting listed over here. Output has been truncated. So let's go to our S3 bucket to check if it has been written over there or not. If I have an access to S3 bucket for sure, I'll be having some output over there. Okay, so where is that logs? No, it's not written. So to write something from SSM, from run command to S3 bucket, you have to give a permission, which I haven't given it. I have given only EC2 full access to the SSM agent. I have to add another service or another layer of permission to access S3 bucket. Then only we'll be able to see the output over here. Okay, so I hope this clears a lot how to use run command to run your uh, script, shell script on your EC2 instance. Again, uh, if you want to run another command, for example, let's try to find Windows update. You can include the KB articles, choose the instance manually, SSM is the instance type, read control. So if you have like, uh, multiple instances then you can change this concurrency I'll, I'll select one everything is going to one so i don't have permission to write to s3 bucket same thing you can send out a notification click run let's see if it executes something or not this will be going to find what are the windows update available for us you can see the command document is find windows updates this will take few minutes to run because uh, i have provisioned the server i don't know the ami has been updated with windows patches or not so that is something 
it's trying to find out what are the updates available and needs to be uploaded or updated to the server so again i'll going to pause this video resume it back once this is completed so this will be considered as part one for run command i'll be coming up with another video where we will be executing multiple commands on Linux instances. So let's pause this. Uh, let me refresh. Yes. Okay, the Windows uh, find Windows update command has been executed successfully. You can see we don't have any command. So go to command history. The previous one got failed because of the insufficient memory. So I'll show you that. If you select the instance and click on view output, step one output. It got failed stating a message called insufficient memory to continue the exception of the execution of the program. So that's why it failed. Generally, I create T2 micro. So to get this uh, working, I have changed my inst instance type from T2 micro to T2 large so that the systems manager get enough memory to find out the updates. So let's go to run command again, command history, click on the successful one select the instance view the output select the output okay important updates are four critical is one original updates zero total four so these are the unspecified important kb articles and these are the kb articles that it's showing is downloaded false because we haven't done any downloading for uh, patches we have just try to find out what are the windows updates available for our systems so that's how run command works for windows system i hope this clears a lot in terms of uh, how to use run command to find out updates to run your shell script on your ec2 instances so that's it guys for this particular video i just want you to try run command from systems manager to manage across your EC2 instances. This is very helpful uh, module from Amazon and one place to automate most of your stuff, the daily administrative task. Just try it out and place, a place out a comment in comment section. If you're facing any issue, I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.